Hey guys, very good evening. This is Sundar Abhinandan here. Hi Arjun. Hi Tanu. Welcome, welcome to the session, guys. Yet another Pariksha session. Four chapters we are going to cover. You know, four, three stories and a poem. Friendly mongoose, tale of two birds, who did Patrick's homework? Uh, a beautiful poem which differentiates between something called a house and something called a home. So I'm going to take you through all these four, three stories and the poem. And along with that, you will have wonderful quizzes with a mentee. So watch out, be ready. We will just wait for a few more seconds to allow more guys to jump in and then we will start. Hi Tano, yes, yes, I do. So guys, let us start. I think it's time. Yeah. I am awesome, Arjun. A quick word about Vedantu Young Wonders in case there are new people in the session. This channel 6, 7th and 8th. All right. This is typically dedicated for these three grades. And uh, we cover both academic and non-academic, uh, you know, uh, content. Academically, math, science, and social and English grammar. Entire year syllabus for all the three grades. Non-academically, we have multiple series happening, guys. General knowledge, maths, foundation level. Uh, we also have, uh, uh, you know, j uh, how does it work? A series on how different, you know, science typically, how different equipments work. So it is a bouquet of offerings, guys. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. All right. So here it comes. So in case you want to learn from us directly, you like the master teachers of Vedantu, you would want to learn from them directly. There is an amazing opportunity because we have come out with a subscription, which will give you unlimited live classes, make you rock solid to compete with fellow students which provides you anytime watch replays with live quizzes and helps you download the content, the notes given by master teachers, uh, help you get clarified with n number of doubts that you have inside your session. All right. And, and on top of all these things, we also provide you with 5,000 plus topic wise, chapter wise micro courses. Guys, you know what? All these things, you know how much does it cost? Super awesome, so many classes, very less price. All details are pinned to your description box. You see a blue color box on the top of your uh, uh, chat box, right? That is the description box. So a link is there. You can go to that link and watch all, you know, look at all the details and choose for yourself. If you're subscribing, choose, use the coupon code SRPRO to get a, a good discount. Guys, look at this. How much does a car class cost? Per class, it is four rupees. Four rupees for one class. That is the cost. So it's super affordable. Make use of it if you're looking for these kind of courses. Okay. Lovely. Now, yes. The details are there in the description box. I already told you. Now it's time we revise. So let me start. Guys, the way it is going to happen, I'll tell you. I will start with the story, give you a quick summary of the story, and then ask you one question and one grammar question. So even if you are not, all right, even if you are not someone who belongs to this, uh, you know, board, still you will be able to answer the grammar question, right? So here we go. First story, the friendly mongoose. Guys, this friendly mongoose is a very, very popular common story. Okay which has the moral do not decide anything in a hurry don't jump to conclusions now uh, the friendly more it's a story about a farmer and a wife they had both of them had a son you know they loved their son very much very dear to him however the boy wants a pet as his companion farmer brings a baby mongoose the mother never likes that mongoose 
all right one day the mother of the babe you know uh, she goes to the market and she asks the farmer uh, not to leave her son she says be there i am going out to the market you be at home don't leave him alone with the mangoes however farmer also leaves to meet his friend and when wife returns she finds the mangoes with mouth full of blood soaked in blood all right the moment she looks at that she comes to a conclusion that the mangoes has killed the boy the baby you know what she does she throws the entire basket at the mangoes and uh, but she finds that after you know that has happened she finds that the mangoes are actually protected her son by fighting with the snake thus the blood was all from the snake that the mangoes fought with all right everybody felt so bad about the loss of the mangoes but it was already too late right so the moral of the story is do not jump to conclusions always take decisions with a very calm and steady mind clear all of you mohini all the very best you're going to rock don't worry beta if your screen is blurred you have to adjust the resolution to 360 pixels okay so question number 1 what a question super simple right what kind of pet did the farmer bring home can you answer guys come on come on come on what was the pet that the farmer brought home okay sia i'm sorry i didn't see your name right yeah yukta it is right it is a mongoose so the right answer is a, the farmer brought a little mongoose grammar question on verb a large crowd dash expected today will there be is or will there be are which verb will come here a large crowd dash expected today will there be is or will there be are which is the right answer come on guys waiting for all of you everyone is saying yes 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 exactly though crowd contains multiple people which might be considered as plural it is not so as it's looked upon as a single entity starts the reason you will have s so s is the right answer a large crowd is expected today are you ready for the second story here it comes the story is the tale of two birds Uh, it's also an interesting story it also it, this story speaks about the moral is your character is determined by the, your environment the society around which you live okay so a tale of two birds all right it is a famous folk tale which goes back to ancient india so it's around a family of birds suddenly due to a thunderstorm the mother bird dies and there were left two birds all right the chicks uh who got separated due to the thunderstorm one bird falls near a cave of robbers the other bird falls in a muni the rishi's ashram okay so one day a king visits the area near the cave of robbers and uh, he sits under a tree all right suddenly he gets shocked that there was one bird coming towards him shouting calling all the robbers saying that all right please rob the king and his jewels the bird was shouting king was shocked to hear that he runs away he flees and reaches the rishi's ashram where a similar bird again comes but this bird to his surprise welcomes him all right and the king was inquiring just now i saw a bird which was uh, you know calling the robbers to rob from me but now i am looking at the same birds or similar bird which is welcoming me which is so warm and friendly the rishi says it all depends on your company your company can make you make you a great person or break you break your life so that's the moral of the story guys
All right. The question, who greeted the king in the ashram? Was it the rishi or the bird? Who greeted the king in the ashram? When the king ran to the ashram, someone greeted the king. Was it the bird or was it the rishi? Come on, come on, try it out. Let me see. Yeah, many of you. In fact, as of now, every one of you is saying, sir, bird. Everyone is saying bird, which is the right answer, of course. Superb. So, guys, now grammar question. Preposition, which will which preposition will come in blanks? We often go to the beach, dash summer, on summer or in summer. Which will come? Which is the right preposition? On summer or in summer? Come on, come on, come on. Try it, guys. All right, everyone is saying in, which is the right answer? In is the right answer. So simple, right? All these questions. Preposition in is the one which will come here because on means above in this case. We are speaking about during, right? During means it will always come, in will come. Okay, guys, so whenever you are speaking something, all right, which is a common noun, you generally use in. All right. Who did Pat the third chapter? Who did Patrick's homework? So, guys, this is a very simple one, but it's an interesting story. Patrick was a very active boy. He wanted to play all the time. He never liked doing his homework. He never had interest in studies. One day, he saw his small cat, his pet cat, playing with a doll. When he went near the doll, he understands that it is not a doll but an elf. Elf is, you know, right? It's like Lilliputs. Small creatures, people, human beings, which are so small, tiny. So the elf's life was in danger, you know, danger because anytime the cat will eat him. So he, the elf was in trouble. He needed help. Patrick saved him. All right. And the elf said, I will, I will give you a wish. I will grant a wish to you. Patrick was very happy. He said, you know, what is the wish I want? I want you to do my entire homework for the entire semester. The elf said, oh my God, what kind of wish is this? But still, since I have promised, I will do it. All right. So from then on, the elf started doing the homework of Patrick, but he did not know anything. So for everything, he needed the help of Patrick. You know what? To ha help the el elf, complete the homework, Patrick had to study a lot, refer a lot of things to help the elf. This way, you know what happened? He worked hard, all right, and became better at studies without his knowledge. He went to library, made a lot of references, and homework was all done. So elf, though he completed slowly, he slipped away. Patrick, to the surprise, got A grade. All right, everyone, even the teachers, everyone was surprised, friends, everyone. Patrick understood he has changed completely into an ideal kid. All right. And his attitude also changed. All right. He still thought that the tiny man had done his homework. Wherein the truth is, it is Patrick who did it. Right. So this is the story. Who did Patrick's homework? Cool. Now comes the question. Guys, is everyone clear with this? Simple one, right? Hi, Ditya. Yes, yes, yes. It is NCRD. Question time. What did Patrick ask the elf to do? All are simple questions, right? To play with him or to do his homework? Which is the right answer? Come on, come on. Try it. Come on, guys. Try it, try it. Everyone is getting it right. So, today Pritesh sir's session is cancelled guys. Sorry about it. 
and uh, he was not available okay so the right answer all of you are getting it right patrick wanted the elf to do the homework so now coming to modal verbs which modal verb will fill that blank does you mind helping me could or would so simple Come on, come on, come on. Could or would? Almost all of you, almost all of you have got would, which is the right answer. Would you mind helping me? So guys, the final one, the poem, a house, a home. Guys, can you tell me what is the difference between a house and a home? Is there a difference, first of all? I am going to my house. I am going to my home. Is there a difference between a house and a home? Okay, a few of you are saying no. All right, guys. House is just a, a building constructed for people to live. Home comprises the build, the people and the building where they live in. So home is all about a family which is living in a building. I repeat, a home is all about a family which has a life, which has where love is present. All right, who occupy that building? So house is just a constructed building, a place for people to live. That's the difference. So the poet here, the summary, the poet has tried to define and differentiate between a house and a home. He says, house is just made of brick, stone, hardwood, etc. It has paints, chimneys, it's more of construction. All right, uh, windows, doors, corridors, roof, floor, etc. But home is a place where a loving family lives in a building. All right, and a loving family where everyone loves each other, take care of each other. Brothers, sisters, father, mother, together, they make a home. And when we say loving family, all what they do will be selfless, only for love. They will not have any selfish motives at all. This is what makes a house as a home. Are you clear, guys? Come on, come on, we are about to jump into a mentee now. Come on, give me a yo if you guys are super clear with everything. I have just two more questions to for a mentee. Yes, I am. Okay. Here it comes. The members of a family act for the good of each other or against each other. Which is the right answer? Can I ask a simpler question than this? Yes, Iti, you are bang on. So the right answer obviously is A. Everyone works for the welfare or for the growth of others, for wellness of others. All right, grammar, articles. What are, which article will come here? We have dash, uh, little time to spare we have a or the we have a little time to spare we have the little time to spare hello art how are you oh all of you are getting it right you guys are too good we have a little time to spare okay so guys jumping on to a mentee now So the right answer is this. I want all of you to open a browser window. Open a browser window and type www.menti.com like this. Menti.com. Type this. M 
M-E-N-T-I, menti.com. Once you type it, it's going to ask you for a code. Arshjot, just starting the menti, not, not started till now. So it will ask you to enter the code. So I'll tell you the code. The code for menti is 7000640. I repeat, 7000640. Come on, come on, come on. There are eight questions in today's Menti. Seven, triple, zero, six, four, zero. Come on, guys, faster. Seven, triple, zero, six, four, zero. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, once again, I repeat, guys, you have to open your browser, Google Chrome, Safari, uh, Microsoft Edge, which of whatever browser it is, and type the code, uh, go to the website, menti.com, M-E-N-T-I, menti.com, and it'll ask you to enter a code. The code is 7000640. 30 more seconds. First question, I'm going to start. Jitendra, what is your question, beta? I'm just looking at your chat just now. Seven triple zero six four zero. Seven triple zero six four zero. Fifteen more seconds. First question is going to be there on your screens. Purnima, I am awesome. How are you? All right. I think that this time five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Guys, first question is going to be on your screens. Be ready. Refreshing the page now. For all of you. Hi, Rishi Gaming. Priyanka, the questions will be asked. You have to answer. So first you have to go to menti.com and type the code 7000640. First question on your screens. There are eight questions, by the way. Who saved the farmer's son from deadly snake? Farmer's wife, neighbor, mongoose. Right answer. Do you really need this much time for this? Trust me. Hi Tanu, I am fine. How are you? Mangoes, most of you got it right. Superb. So, Kanimuri at number one. Yukta Kesavi, number two. Frosty, number three. Arihant Maverick, top five. Arush Vaibhav Maverick. Hey Maverick, two IDs. I got to close on one. Remove the ID. PJ and Nayantara. Maverick, please close one ID, okay? Question number two on your screens now. Legend Gaming, I just told, right? Mr. Mac, I just refreshed the page for everyone. Interjection, which, which interaction will come? We have won the match. Wow, hooray, alas, which is the right interjection. We have won the match is when you jump with joy, which is hooray. How many of you chose hooray? Good. A good 83 people have chosen it. So that leaves Kanimori still at the top, followed by Yukta, Arikan, Zaki and Aditya, top five. PJ, Adarsh, Rudra, Nayantaran, A. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Question number 3.
Who killed the mother bird? The hunter, storm, decoids. Okay. Mr. Mac, after this question, I will refresh once again. Let's see. Who killed the mother bird? A hunter, a storm, or decoids? It's a storm, a thunderstorm. So now, Yukta, I have been new. No, not Yukta. I think Arihant is at number one. Followed by Zaki Adar, Aditya, Rudra. Top five. Nayantara, Goswami, Bhavesh, Yukta, and Jin. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So guys, I'm just refreshing the page for Mr. Mac. Just hold on a second. So the page has been refreshed. Let us see. All right. Let us see. Mr. Mac, I hope you are able to join now. I am not giving the code. See, everyone is able to join Vijay. I don't know what is the problem at your end. You have to check. Question number four. The fourth question is, adjectives that the dash man donated generously. Rude, clever, wealthy, which is the right answer. Which adjective will fit in here? Just think about what he did. You will know the answer. Wealthy man, he had money, so he donated generously. Wealthy is the right answer. So now we see Aditya at the top, followed by Nayantara, Rudra, Bhave, Shukta, and top five, Varsha, Sujan, Pratik, A and Arush, six to ten. So guys, Hit the like button guys. I hope you liked all the four stories. I mean the three stories and the poem. And yes, don't forget to subscribe in case you're looking. Details are there pinned to your comment. Uh, you know the description box. And to get an additional discount, use this coupon code SRPRO. Alright, the price is very less as low as 4 rupees for one class. Make you suffer. Now coming back. Question number five on your screens. What was Patrick's attitude towards studies? Did he like him? Learned a lot, worked hard, no interest. What was Patrick's attitude? No interest. Good. Almost all of you got it right. So, oh, there is a change now. Looks like Rudra at the top. Mm. Followed by Bhavesh, Varsha, Yukta, Shujan. Top 5. Arush, Syed, A, Pratik and others. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Question number 6. Two more to go. I don't know Vijay, what is the problem? Everyone is doing well. Jerry is taller than Dash M. He, she, I. Which is the right one? Which pronoun will come here? Jerry is taller than Dash M. Guys, if it is M, no other way. It has to be I. Correct? Now, Rudra. Bhavesh is stopping, followed by Rudra, Varsha, Yukta, and Arush. Top 5. Sayad, Sujan, Pratik, A, and others. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, guys, question number 7, just one more to go. Ready, all of you? Here it comes. Popping off your screens. A house becomes a home with what? When? When windows are there, doors are there, or people are there. I 
I don't know, Mr. Mac or uh, the others. I'm really surprised because everyone is able to join. What is the problem at your end? I'm not able to figure out. Uh, the people. House becomes a home when people selflessly loving, caring people live inside the same as family. So it looks like Bhavesh is still at the top, followed by Varsha, Yukta, Rudra and Arush. Top 5. Syed, Sujan, Pratik, A and others. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, final question for this quiz. On your screens. Now, the handbag dash very beautiful. Which B form of verb will be there? R is where? Which is the right answer? R is where? Which will come? The handbag. R beautiful, is beautiful, where beautiful? Is obviously. Is B form of the verb. So 82 of you got this right. Looks like Bhavesh is... Bhavesh is winning. Yes, he is. Good job, Bhavesh. Congratulations. Followed by Varsha, Yukta, Arush, Rudan. Bhavesh, congratulations, Beta. Varsha, Yukta, Arush, Rudan. Great job. Top 5. Pratik, A, Rudra, Adarsh and Akila. Amazing job, guys. You are a part of the leaderboard today. 6 to 10. Keep it up. Guys, there could have been so many of you who got the right answers. You guys are also winners here. My kudos to all of you. Keep it going, okay? That's the spirit. And yes, guys, I hope you are clear about these four uh, chapters that we dealt with, the stories and the poem, and all the questions as well. You like them. Hit the like button without fail so that I know that you know it now. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. Uh, I will meet you guys again in the next session. Until then, this is myself, Sundar Rabindranathan, bidding bye-bye to you. Have a wonderful Sunday, guys. Alright, in case you have exams and all, the coming week, all the very best to that. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.